Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel with a new video about World of Tanks and today I have another replay for you. And I know recently the schedule of my channel has not been respected because, uh, well, stuff gets in the way. Um, still, I have some difficulties to plan everything that I uh, want to... Well, I know what I want to show you but there's always more coming up and I don't respect my planning so... Um, <laughs> I don't exactly know what to say, I suppose when I will have more uh, more experience and also more footage in my backlog it will be easier for me to, to show you uh, exactly and to anticipate what I will show you in the future. In any case, uh, this was certainly not planned but um, I had some, uh, let's say, annoying experience lately. You know it's holidays so the skill level of the average player is pretty low at the moment and this can induce some frustration at some point and this was certainly the case at the beginning of this week on Monday I had this battle amongst many others which resulted in uh, not just frustration but I actually felt outraged at some point and I didn't know exactly at what, at what sorry I, I felt outraged was it at my team, myself, the game itself. I just know that it was so annoying that it it prevented me to play properly. It prevented me to have fun while playing at some point. And it took some time to calm me down. You know, outside of gaming in general, uh, I am a kind, peaceful, quiet person. I don't yell at people. I don't get easily offended or outraged, uh, you, you really have to push me uh, to, to get me into a mad mood, really. And I am... I don't yell at people, I don't insult people, I always rationalize everything and if something is not going in, in the right direction, from my point of view, I try to sort things out peacefully. When I, when I play, I don't rage a lot, quite Quite often I will complain if something is not correct and then I will learn, alright, I should have done that or maybe the game. I, I think of something else and I'm calm again. But recently while playing World of Tanks I was complaining more than usual and actually at the beginning of the, of the week I, I felt really some rage deep inside of me and I didn't know why and when that happens, obviously, it means that uh, you're not having fun in the game when that happens so I stopped playing but then there's this other feeling I felt like I was playing properly like I was doing my job as a tanker and yet that I was disappointed by the rest of the game, the team, the RNG, everything and it felt strange to think that I would have to be the one to, to leave the game and leave the other ones uh, playing uh, peacefully, you know it was frustrating in that aspect and then I was like, yeah but I read the message I, I sent through Skype because I was talking to other people and I read that a few hours afterwards and I felt so stupid and ashamed for... Uh, it was not mean things by by any mean, by any stretch of imagination. It was just some raw complaint and it was just stupid really. Looking at the person I have become when I, when I let all of these complaints uh, getting to me when I when I look at the person I am after playing so many terrible games in a row uh, well for sure it doesn't bring any positivity into into me into my mood so obviously the correct answer is to stop but it's not easy to just say all right I had a terrible experience I have to stop gaming for the moment because you're like I'm kind of entitled to continue playing because I'm technically, well, you don't see it, of course I did mistakes and you will see in this replay I did some mistakes, but you feel like you are entitled to play and maybe you have uh, some daily bonuses left to do, uh, maybe you still have premium for the rest of the day and you're like, it, feel, it feels like a waste when you're just uh, stopping your gaming session before it was expected like I don't know you you're supposed to play maybe you plan to play for two hours and after one hour you quit 
and you felt like uh, give me back my second hour of gaming you know and yet I know for experience then that quitting uh, directly the game uh, is better than trying to force yourself to finish all of your daily bonuses and everything because it because you don't play properly first when you when you are not in a peaceful state of mind and also because you're not having fun at all anyway so it's pointless I have always been uh, the kind of people who, who thinks uh, rationally like alright uh, my logic is based on information and I am trying to analyze everything and trying to take the correct decision according to all of those information however it's true that our logic is heavily influenced or maybe completely based on emotions and being uh, annoyed, being frustrated, being outraged heavily influences our logic and therefore our decisions on the battlefield and you, you will see uh, very soon one of the stupidest decisions I have ever made in World of Tank because in this in this battle I threw away the victory. Yeah, I know, spoiler alert, we are going to lose this. I mean, I lost the majority of my games recently. Uh, on Monday and Tuesday I had, well on Monday I had 45% of victory and Tuesday 41%. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I had an, a streak of 9 defeats in a row and I was playing my favorite tanks. And if that happens, I mean, Obviously, it's partly my fault. Even if overall stats prove that I am better than average, uh, I always do mistakes, whether they're minor mistakes, sometimes I, I rush too early, and sometimes it's huge mistakes that cost the game, uh, like you will see on this replay. Uh, I will let you judge uh, about my performance in this game. I, I didn't command the game itself uh, just because uh, until this point it was pretty straightforward. I hope. Well, like in the in the Tiger One replay, I mean, I didn't have to face so many opponents that were uh, paying attention to me, like this Black Prince, for for instance. He's he's doomed. He has to cross an open ground for so long, and the only thing he could have done would be to blind fire me earlier. So the point of this video is just to tell you that even if you think you're above average and that you should be able to win more often than you lose sometimes you won't be good enough to carry games sometimes you won't be good enough to simply not let your team down uh, shit happens very often and being outraged is probably a natural uh, effect or probably a natural side effect uh, when you lose too much and you think it's not your fault but when you look back afterwards and you watch again the replay like this one I had an excellent result and yet after a few days after because this game was on Monday now I watch the replay and I and I can certainly confirm that I threw the victory away and it's not like being humble or anything you will see right now my last decision which made us lose the game here not spotted I, I spot this T29, short range, shooting the track, I miss the track, I am spotted, I know I will be able to plant a few other shots, I track him, two more shots, he doesn't have the time to aim, he missed me. I am not spotted again, my camouflage kicks in, and now I am free to go wherever I want to go. It's one versus two, he is midlife, and if my memory is correct, the other tank was in low life. We are going to see it soon. Yep, two shot kill. He don't have the gain depression, he backs out. And now I don't have any mm, any opportunity, let's say. So now it's me versus, versus the two of them. What should I do? You have to understand that during this game, I was already outraged. Because I had lost already a lot of games. And if I picked my E25 during this battle, it was because I wanted to have an overpowered tank and I wanted to steamroll on opponents to just, you know, release a bit of the pressure. I wanted to crush my enemy team and this is certainly not a good reason to play World of Tanks and 
You know what I just did? My decision at the moment was, all right, I'm just going to flank them and surprise them. And this will be probably a victory. I still have 13 shells, it's enough to kill all of them. Six premium shells, so I can technically pierce easily T29 frontally, although I don't want to because I don't want him to fire back to retaliate at me. So I'm simply going all the way to the north, trying to surprise them. This is probably the easiest and most obvious trick in the world. And why was I foolish enough to think that by disappearing for so long, my enemies would not, uh, you know, anticipate uh, this basic trick? You are going to see the result soon. And my advice, if at some point you you really feel like you're not playing and having fun on the game and being outraged at some point, my point is simply quit the game and do an activity that will calm you down because nothing good will result in forcing your way, uh, forcing the victory, it will not happen just like that. For me reading is a good option but uh, I was too mad this day after the game so I actually had to have a walk and think of something else. Yep, both of them anticipated, of course. Why was I so arrogant to think that uh, this very basic trick would fool both of them? So, I threw the game away, I was decorated for that. Uh, I don't know if I deserve so many medals, silver experience, I mean, it's really strange. I would have done so so much differently if I, if I had to, to have this game again today. So, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was helpful in any way, if it did, uh, please consider giving it a like and to subscribe to my channel and I will have more cheerful replays for you in the near future. Thank you, cheers!